Hello everybody, it's Gail here from Ornamentology. Uh, following on with the series of hat care videos, I thought I'd talk about something a little more elaborate and talk to you about how to clean and keep these in a pristine condition. Now, having lots of feathers on your hat is rather magnificent, isn't it? But sometimes, because we live in a country where it whittles down with rain on a regular basis, or excuse me, uh, wriggles down with rain on a regular basis, uh, our feathers can sometimes get a little bit sad for themselves. But even though I can't begin to imagine there's a bird flying around England with this kind of colour plumage, there might be for all I know, but I don't think so, certainly not in Lincolnshire, um, birds get wet because they're outdoor things and then they get dry again, naturally, and then they look a bit raggly scraggly and they preen. So if it works for them, um, and their plumage then it'll work for this because obviously these were attached to a living thing at some point so a good thing to do is to run your your dry clean hands over the feathers and the natural oils in your hands will be just like a bird preening um, now if that doesn't work um, with your dry feathers and you find that you know it's not happening they're still looking a bit like I've been whiffed through a hedge backwards what you can do is you can from a distance um, get some leave-in hair conditioner doesn't have to be an expensive make cheap and cheerful works from a distance of a kind of an arm span S mist it gently over the feathers just give it a moment give it a shake and then get your hair dryer on the cold setting the cold setting remember birds do not have central heating so on the cold setting and blast the feathers and then rub your hands through them to get them into their original sort of sense of order and that will refresh them, um, make them smell nice, and uh, give them a little bit of condition if they're getting a bit dried out and tatty looking. Um, same applies for little motifs like this, you can just gently brush them. Um, I have a two inch paintbrush, this is one that's a working paintbrush but it's had a good clean, and you just literally brush them in the direction of the feather, and that could sometimes help. It's kind of like a gentle hairbrush, isn't it? But you don't want to be setting about it with your best hairbrush. So gently brush it. And that's another tip for cleaning them, really. If you've got a hat that's looking like it's got, you know, lots of little bits and bobs in and it's getting a bit dusty, just take a brush and just literally brush between all the little adornments, get everything in some semblance of order, give it a tweak around, um, brush the feathers. If the bows get a bit thingy, you know, a bit dusty or grubby looking. If it's starting to go a bit out of shape, you can steam it. Um, you can steam the feathers, but I find that that tends to douse them a bit and you have to spend more time drying them. But gentle steam and then reshape your hat if it's a wool hat or even if it's a straw hat uh, because it's a natural fabric and it, it material, beg your pardon, and it, it will work with that. But the cleaning is the same. You might be fortunate enough to have a, an actual hat brush. If you're actually brushing, and I'm going to just put this down for a moment, if you're actually brushing a silk top hat, you need an actual hat brush. And if you're doing that, you, you have the softer side of the bristle. You put a clean with the rough side very gently, and then a soft side. You could use an old fashioned clothes brush for this. You do a circular motion on the top, and then that puts that nice sheen back in. Because I know some of you have some very old, uh, vintage, beautiful hats. I've seen you in them but if you just run it round in a circular motion to the middle and then you'll find the way that it, the, that it flows. It'll give you a nice even pattern and then you just go round the sides. Um, and again, if it's starting to look a little bit, smell a little bit unpleasant or you've found one and it's been in mothballs, again, spray it inside and out gently with a, a Febreze and that'll neutralize it a bit. Um, leave you know leave it where it's getting lots of air natural air and let it dry naturally um but yeah so a good hat brush if you've got one a two inch this is i think 50 millimeters yeah two inch paint brush uh natural bristles if you can that have you know that have, this has seen a lot of active services paintbrush and they're soft because if you get a new one you need to kind of like get the loose ones out otherwise you're getting the dirt out but leaving hair bristles from the brush there but anyway that's kind of it i think Obviously, like all hats, keep this in either a brown paper bag or a, a cardboard box so that it can breathe. Um, when you've taken it off your head, leave it sort of to just air before you put it back in its 
containers. Just avoid putting it in anything plastic, really, because it will just get sweaty and then it will all start to smell a bit unpleasant and none of us need that on our heads, do we? But, um, yeah, and I mean, ladies, if you have, um, if you've got um, foundation on your hat um, band liner, um, you can just get a cotton ball type thing or those little pads that you take your makeup off with and just take your makeup remover and just dampen, not sog, and just wipe the internal band of your hat with that. If it takes it off your skin, it'll take it off the ribbon. And then again, obviously, let it dry naturally and you'll find that that'll remove any um, makeup that, I'm saying ladies, it could be gents as well, what am I talking about? Um, that'll remove any kind of makeup that's rubbed off your hat, off your face onto your hat or the hat band. Um, so, I think I've just about covered everything. If this, you think there's something I've missed, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and address that either in another video or reply to you directly or both probably knowing me. But um, I hope you've enjoyed that. It's gone on a little bit, but we've covered a lot of ground. Um, if you need, if you want me to talk about something that's concerning you about hat care or anything else really that's not too politically charged, then let me know. But thank you very much for your precious time and uh, I hope you found that useful. Thank you very much now. Bye-bye and see you on the next one.